He was the surprise finalist at Wimbledon last year, beating Roger Federer along the way. He made the semi-finals at Roland Garros and was a finalist in Miami. So what can we expect from the world number six this year? Well, Thomas Burditch had a breakthrough in 2010, getting to his first Grand Slam final. I believe he could take it one step further in 2011 and hoist a Grand Slam title if he's more consistent with his huge arsenal of offensive weapons. Thomas Burditch's forehand is his tipping point shot. It's where he hits a lot of winners, but also yields a lot of unforced errors. Now his grip is a little bit more Eastern than most of his peers, and it's more of a linear shot. Less margin and less spin than a lot of his contemporaries. So it's really all about the timing. When he times it right, it's one of the biggest shots in the sport. Now Burdich has a very specific strike zone. He loves the ball about waist height, where he could really extend his leverage stand over and power through his ground strokes. Thomas Burdich has put a lot of work into strengthening his lower body. With that increased strength comes better mobility and footwork. And with better footwork, he's capable of getting an ideal position a higher percentage of the time. And because of that, he's been more consistent. If Thomas Burdich is more consistent, he could take that next step and win a Grand Slam. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, as tennis mania grips Melbourne, we've got all the news and views from the Australian Open. And we meet one of the game's true gentlemen. Tim Henman tells us just what it's like to carry the hopes of a nation. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.